Before we start editing an anything, we have to make sure we have our content. And before we can get our content, we have to make sure we have the right tools. So, obviously, the thing that you probably have if you're watching this is a computer. Now, you have to excuse my crude drawings, but I promise you'll get the gist. So, here's my computer here with the mouse and all that. Um, we're talking about obviously PC right now. Uh, if you have questions about a Mac, just email us uh, or send me an email. It's samgitfba.ca. I should be able to help you as well. Um, okay, so you have your computer, your PC set up, but at the same time, you're going to need to get the data from somewhere. The data being that video footage, that, that real uh, footage that you already have. And for that, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get it from one of these sources or one of several sources. Now, one of them is obviously the internet. Now, for the internet, you might if the person who's shot your video, uh, if they have access to something called an FTP, okay, there we go, an FTP, they might be able to upload it to this FTP and for you to download it, but if you know how this works, then you probably know how the rest of the stuff works, so I won't really need to talk about this. But just so you know that that is one way of doing it. The other way, which is the the way that most people do it, is they basically get their hands on a camcorder. Let's see if I can draw a better camcorder here. Okay, so that's that part. It's the viewfinder. That's where you put your hand in. Yeah, so this is my camera. Now, the type of cameras that are used today, there's different types. There is the 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 main one, the one that is primarily used, the most popular for the past I don't know how many years, is something called Mini DV. Okay? Mini DV is basically mini digital video and it comes in these little tiny tapes. Uh, another way that you can actually do this is also by DVD, which is another type of camera, which basically, just to bring it up, all it is that instead of putting in a tape here, you're going to be putting in a DVD. That's it. So that's another way. Uh, another way to do it is these new cameras that have come out in the past couple of years, uh, they're basically hard drive. Um, not HD as in high def, but hard hard drive cameras. Uh, they basically, they don't have any tapes, they don't have anything, they just, the, the camera itself comes with a hard drive. So this is the in terms of the camera side, the camcorder side. Another way of doing it is by getting a, basically a, di a digital camera and m pretty much most of the new ones, there's the flash, there's the centerpiece, so there's your digicam. Okay. Now, this will work too. It just depends obviously on the quality of your reel that you're looking for, but these are, I'm showing you all the different ways that you could do it. Uh, another way is to get that same person who shot the video for you uh, to basically save it onto their computer and then burn it onto a DVD and give it to you. Or it doesn't have to be a DVD. It just depends on the amount of space that uh, you basically need, the size of your video footage. For DVDs, they're basically for each DVD you can fit, I think it's approximately like 4.5 gigabytes. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but that's probably around how much you can fit on each DVD. But for a CD, um, for just a standard CD, if you're saving it as a data file, you can have, I believe, like just under 700 megabytes. Um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about in terms of megabytes and gigabytes, basically uh, for every one, like one gigabyte, is approximately a thousand uh, megabytes. Approximately. This is not exact, but that's just a, in terms of how all the ratio and, and everything is. I don't want, if you're watching this and you're like, no, that's not exact, well, okay, I, I'm saying it's not 100%, but that's about the idea right there. So basically, these are the different ways that you can get the data, but in order to get that footage, that data, you need to basically 
uh, aside from obviously the DVD or the CD side, which you just you know play into put it into the CD drive, and the uh, FTP, the internet side. So let's just get rid of these guys because we're not going to work with them here. Okay. What the thing that you're going to probably need to focus on the most is probably the mini DV or the hard drive camera or just the camera itself. Now, most cameras, they should come with a cable which helps you to connect um, the camera to the PC. Now, for digital cameras and, uh, reg uh, and camcorders as well, they have something called a USB cable. I'm sure you guys already know what this is. It's just a standard cable that connects. Uh, you have USB keys as well where you can save data onto... Uh, onto this little key drive here and you know you connect that to somewhere in your PC and you can save data. It's the same idea, same type of same type of technology basically. So what you what you do is you can either use that USB cable to transfer the data, but typically what's best or what's most recommended is to use something called a firewire. Fire wire okay that's not working out there we go firewire cable basically firewire cable it can transfer data more data faster basically that's like the summary of it it's basically it's better for transferring uh video footage it's, it's you 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 it's better that's all you need to know okay it's better um you don't really need to use this recommended if you go into any local um, retailer and you just go up to the sales guy and say I need a firewire cable they'll tell you but remember something in order to use a firewire you need to have a firewire port okay what I need what I what I mean about the port is it uh, the, the connection it doesn't look like a USB slot this is uh, you know standard USB type slot if you ever take a look at a USB you know this uh, more or less is a crude sketch but let's say let's say this is what a USB port looks like for the firewire port it doesn't look like this let me just fix that up a little maybe it's a little just a little bit smaller usually not always but usually like that and this guy comes here, but then it kind of twists up like that, comes this way. This is very crude, but just you have to know that the p ports are different. So before you go out and spend money on buying a FireWire uh, cable, because it is more expensive, make sure you have the port. And in order to know whether or not you have the port, you have something called a motherboard. A motherboard is basically the mother board that's the best way I can explain it and this motherboard is inside your PC and all the different types of connections are coming from either end so in the back of the if the if we were looking at if this was the PC you know this is where the CD-ROM drive is and all that if we're looking at it from the side you know back here you you'd have your you know you have your mouse you have the power and then at the bottom here you might have a firewire port connection but make sure you have that before you go out and spend money on something like this that basically covers everything in terms of uh, the technology side that you need so make sure you have one of those things um, you USB or firewire cable to connect the hardware uh, you need the computer and also for the computer you need something like a Windows XP or Windows Vista uh, it doesn't really matter just make sure it has that movie maker uh, software that we were talking about.